Heinz, uh, first of all, well, how do you like so far this winter? Because it looks like we're having the best w season start ever. <laughs> yeah, that's right, that's right. Uh, and we also had good winter feeling in Norway, especially in Lillehammer and in Rukka. So here the whole around is not so much winter because there is no snow. But uh, for our competitions, uh, we have the best start ever I can remember. And so it makes more fun to go to competitions. I think you can be also quite happy with your team. You had some success from Stefan and, and, and uh, Michal. Yeah, our team is getting stronger and stronger. And uh, so this is what we have worked for the whole season, that we go for little points that we make step by step. And uh, so the beginning was very good. Now the self-confidence is growing and uh, it's the right way for the next Four Hill tournament. Are you a bit surprised by the Polish shape, which were really good in Lillehammer? Yeah, it was uh, only a question for time because we have seen the qualifications, they won all the time and, and so it was uh, very good. They have been also a little bit lucky in Lillehammer with uh, the conditions, but uh, you have to have it if you want to win. And so for everybody now, I think it's very hard to go on the top of the podium because it's so close, it's so high quality for all jumpers and so you have to be on the best shape every day. Uh, what do you think about the Polish competition? We will have two full weekends this time in Wisła and Zakopane. Do you think those are some things special? Do you like those events in Poland? Yeah, yeah, of course, because I have been in Poland for three years and I know how important ski jumping for all the people, for all the fans are. And so it will be a very big event in Wisła and especially afterwards in Zakopane. So we are all looking forward for these competitions and uh, we, we go for our best goal there. We also heard that Gregor is coming back in Wisła. Is it already confirmed? Uh, it's not fixed, so it's not sure. Uh, so this is the plan what we have now. He will come here for Engelberg to make some training jumps with the team that he can see how good his jumping is. And afterwards we go on his plan that every, everything is going clear for him and that he, that he can go for competitions. It's the last step what he has to do. Uh, is it possible we will see him uh, earlier than Wisła or not really? No, no. Uh, so earliest in Wisła or Zakopane? Yes. And uh, did you see him jumping lately? What is his shape in your opinion right now? No, it was a few weeks ago when I saw him jumping and uh, so he was training now with uh, the younger guys in, in Perazzo and so he will arrive here tomorrow after the competition and we go for training on Monday. So that will be the first step with the team and, and it will be a very important step for him that he knows that his way is good and but it will not be the way to go for the next competition in Oberstdorf. So the for his tournament will uh, be held without Schle Gregor? Yes, but with a strong Austrian team. Exactly. So what do you, who do you think can be strong among the Austrian team and the Four Hills? Yeah, now what we have seen, so we have four guys who can jump all time to the top 10 and this is very important that uh, the whole team is growing. Uh, Four hill tournament is always a very long tournament. There are four different hills and uh, there are a lot of uh, spectators, everybody think that you have to win in Oberstdorf, but I think it's not important. So for our team is that uh, we are starting strong and that we grow until Bischofshof. Austrians often surprise us with somebody completely new and young, like Thomas Diethardt. <laughs> yeah, this was our surprise too, but uh, you know, it has been. Uh, now we are looking forward for the next step and uh, we prepare the team for the next Four Hills tournament. Okay, thank you very much and have a nice time here. Yeah, thank you.